we welcome you to the virtual worship services of the Mount Zion Primitive Baptist Church, where I pastor is Elder Dr. Milnell Burwell. We are so thankful that you've chosen to worship with us this morning. We pray that you are blessed by the Word of God, and we look forward to sharing with you. Be blessed. you do for us. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for just being God. Heavenly Father, we know that this pandemic has did a lot of things to a lot of people. But Heavenly Father, we know that you're God and you're still in charge. And whatever, Heavenly Father, the outcome will be, we know that you will have to be safe, say so. 
Heavenly Father, we come depending on you. We cannot make it by ourselves. So we ask that blessings upon our service this morning. Bless all of these, your peoples. Bless the brain of your gospel this morning. Yeah, sure. Bless our pastor, Heavenly Father. Bless all the peoples that has been affected by this virus. Yeah, yeah. Heavenly Father, we know, Heavenly Father, that you're still God. You're still in charge. Nothing can come upon us without your permission. Bless our young peoples today, Heavenly Father. Lead and guide them in the direction that you have them to go. Heavenly Father, we just thank you. So many things, Heavenly Father, is going on now. So many things, Heavenly Father, is yet to come. Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for the many blessings that we have already received. Now, Heavenly Father, <clears throat> when this life is over, we ask that you would just meet us on the other side. And thank you, Lord. This is in the precious name of Jesus we pray. Amen. 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 Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Amen. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. Amen. 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 For your scripture reading this morning, Psalms 23. Amen. Amen. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He make me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still water. He restores my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Amen. The word of God for the people. Of Amen. Amen. Amen.
Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Now we have a special presentation. Going to ask uh, Sister Fletcher to come forward. Mother Fletcher. Amen. Amen. And I, uh, in, in, what I'm trying to say, wait a minute. Uh, I had it all together last night. Now I ain't got it together. Uh, on behalf of Motherboard, we want to give you this small token of appreciation for all you do. You're always there for all of us, for everybody. And, and sometimes you're there for folks you don't even know. You know, so. <laughs> So this is for you from the motherboard. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Thank you. We would just like to say on behalf of the Earth Board, we know we cannot pay you, but we just want to appreciate you for what you do. Like Mother Plato said, you're always there. Sometimes you don't feel good, but you still go. And I just thank God for you each and every day. May God continue to bless you. This is a small token from the earth to go just to know we love you. Amen. Amen. Nothing like showing appreciation for our pastor. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. I feel like this morning it's a little bit, it's, you know, it's a little cloudy. Um, I don't know. It just seemed like somebody need to say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Somebody need to say, Lord, you woke me up this month. Amen. Amen. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I was I was I was uh, I was talking to my wife and she was telling me about something uh, that that she saw on TV and you know sometimes we watch different services from different churches and you know I heard a pastor say some folks can't wait till they get back in the sanctuary so they can shout so they can so they can praise the Lord but but he said why wait right. Amen 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 God woke us up this month. Yeah, started us on our on our way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We ain't got to wait to get back in the house. Amen. Amen. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. So this morning, even though, amen, it's a little cloudy, amen, the Lord controlled the clouds and the sunshine and the rain. So let's thank him for bringing us together this morning. Amen. 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 Right now, what we want to do is give God thanks for our our offering, our opportunity to give, and, and thank him for letting us uh, participate in worshiping him. Amen. Then we also want to lift up those who may be in need. You know, if, if we were inside, we would ask for a prayer request, but even though we're outside on the Lord's grounds, amen, we can still lift up those who we know stand in the need. Amen. We can still pray for those who, who we know are hurting right now. So right now, we just want to ask you to think of those who, who you know stand in the need of prayer, those who are hurting, those who, who, who have asked you to pray for them. Think about those, and we're going to lift them up together. Amen. And we're just going to thank God for being God. That's your prayer for Yates. Family. I'm sorry? Reverend Yates. Yates. Amen. 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 Yeah. Special prayer for Reverend Yates family. Amen. 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 Let us pray. Master in heaven, we come before you right now, once again, Lord, thanking you for being such a good God. Thank you, Lord, for all you've done for us. Thank you for where you brought us from. Thank you that even as we go through this coronavirus, Lord, you continue to carry us in your arms. Thank you, Father, for bringing us 
to your house of worship this morning. Lord, you, you, you watched over us all night long. Then, Father, you decided that you would touch us and wake us to a brand new day. So we thank you, Lord. Thank you for giving us clothes to wear, Father. Thank you for giving us food to eat. We, we thank you, Lord, because we know that you're the one that, that brought us from such a mighty long way. You're the one who gave your son to die that we might have a right to the tree of life. You're the one, Father, who, who lets it rain on us and, and lets the sun shine on us. You're the one, Father, who puts a roof over our head. You're the one who's done everything for us, Father, that we're unable to do for ourselves. So, Father, this morning we just praise you. We thank you, Father. We thank you because even though we're not in the sanctuary, Father, we know that you are the sanctuary. Yes, Lord. So, Father, in you we have peace and we have rest. Yes, so we thank you right thank now, Lord. Thank you, thank you Father, thank for you. all your many, many blessings. Thank you, thank you for giving us an ear to hear your word. Thank you, Father, for blessing us with just one more day. And this is a day, Father, that we know you have made, so we sure enough going to rejoice in it. Yes. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord, for giving us an opportunity to give. We thank you, Father, for allowing us to share in your worship. Father, we ask that you will look down on our, our offering, Lord, and bless it, Lord, that it may be used for your purposes. Father, you know exactly what your people stand in the need of. We ask, Father, a special blessing on uh, Pastor Yates, Lord. Ask that you will be for him and his family everything that he needs. Father, we have sickness all around us. We have sickness in our church family, Lord. Uh, we ask a special blessing for Sister Linda, Lord. You, you, you know what she stands in the need of. We ask Special uh, blessing for those who are bereaved right now. Those who are hurting, those who are burdened down. Those who, 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 who just know that there's no one who can help them but you. So Father, right now we just ask you to move among your people. We ask you, Father, to continue to lead us and guide us. Remind us, Lord, that you have not lost any power. Oh Lord, the miracles that you worked back then, you can still work now. So, Father, help us to keep on keeping on. Help us to move forward, Lord. Help us to remember that you sit high and you look low. Father, as we go forward in our service, we ask that you just bless the speaker, Lord. Give us an ear to hear the word and let it sink down deep in our hearts and help us to tell somebody about a dead, buried, and risen sick. Father, we thank you this morning. Thank you for what you've done and what you're doing, and Father, we thank you for what you're going to do. We love you, Lord. We praise your holy name. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 God bless you. Thank you, Bethea. Let me uh, say to each one of you that are here this morning, thank you for this month. Amen. You have been wonderful to me this month. Uh, you've mailed me cards and monetary gifts and Wonderful prayers and thank yous, and I want to say appreciative words to you. Thank you so very, very much. That's probably not an auxiliary that they're not giving me something this month. I want to say God bless you. Thank you so much for your kindness. Uh, who you are speaks loud. Amen. And I want to bless God for you. Uh, you heard Reverend Mathea praying for the Yates family. Many of you know, uh, perhaps some of you do not know, I want to ask that you would pray for uh, Pastor Emeritus Yates, uh, Florida. I married his president of the National Convention. The Lord uh, called him home yesterday. He transitioned on yesterday. So pray that the Lord will bless his family that they prepare to bury their loved one. Again, that's Pastor Emeritus uh, Yates out of Florida. The Lord called him home, and I want to ask that you would pray for him mightily, this family, rather, that the Lord will bless them and give them your, uh, his strength that they might be able to go forward. Amen. We spend all of our lives getting ready to uh, go home to be with the Lord so when he comes, Ought to be a celebration. Amen. Amen. Bless God for the labor that he's done. We certainly want to pray for his family. This morning, we're blessed to have my friend here. He is he's no stranger to us. Uh, he is uh, Pastor Leslie, Pastor James Leslie. His, his uh, beautiful wife is here with us today. Uh, amen. Give our horn blow. Amen. Uh, <laughs> I had to get used to the horn blows. But uh, 
Uh, Reverend Les is here with us this morning. He's going to bring the morning message for us. Uh, pray that the Lord will speak to our heart, that we leave this place better than how we came. What an honor it is for us to be on the Lord's property, and certainly there's a whole lot of things we need to be praying about. Um, our election is coming up. Um, they're going to fill the, the judicial seat on tomorrow, perhaps, so there's a lot of things we need to be praying about. So let's pray and get out and vote. Uh, you cannot complain right. if you do not vote. That's right. That's Amen. Right. I mean, we appreciate uh, Sister Green. It's been wonderful every Sunday. She has made uh, efforts to you that she will carry your, uh, your, uh, your ballot to the poll for you. She'll come and get you and take you to vote. Uh, she's trying to get you to raise her to vote. I want to appreciate all that she has done. Praise God for that. Amen. Uh, God bless you now. Let's turn your hearts. Uh, uh, we ask our choir to come and give us a one, two song, whatever they, whatever they want to do, one or two. And after they finish singing, the next voice you'll hear, the Lord's preacher, our friend and our brother, Pastor James Leslie.
God's people said, Amen. 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 We give honor and glory to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We count it a blessing to be able to worship God. Yes. As we come this morning, I want to thank uh, uh, my friend uh, and brother, uh, Dr. Milan Burwell, pastor of this great church, for allowing us the opportunity to stand and and say a word to encourage the people of God and to glorify our God. Uh, as we come this morning, it, it's this is a different experience. It has been some years since I have uh, uh, preached outside um, as far as tent revivals are concerned, but it's, uh, this is the first time we've done a uh, park and praise. Amen. Park and praise. So, right. so we glorify the Lord. Now Amen. we realize that we won't hold you too long this morning, but just long enough that the word of God may go forth. Uh, we do um, uh, echo the uh, sentiments of Pastor Burwell in seeing our uh, former president, uh, Elder Bernard Yates, and his passing and going on to be with the Lord, we pray for his wife and church family, uh, that uh, God will be their strength and be their guide uh, in these uncertain times. But we do know that the word of God says, uh, uh, even David spoke, he said, yea, though I walk through right. the right. valley of the shadow of death, I yes. will fear no evil, yes. for thou art with me. Uh, uh, so we know that the Lord will be with them and comfort them, but you know, the, it's the process of going through. Yeah. Uh, today, we want to call your attention to Psalm number 37. The scripture was read in your hearing earlier in the book of Psalms, Psalm number 23. And so we're just going to ask that you go just a little further to Psalm uh, number 37. Psalm okay. number 37. If you have it, say amen. If not, uh, we move forward in the name of the Lord. Psalm number 37 reads, Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. For they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herd. Uh, 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 verse 3 says, Trust in the Lord and do good. So... Uh, shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily uh, shalt thou be fed. Uh, would you bow with me? Gracious Father, we thank you, Lord, for this word that thou hast given. We pray that this word that thou hast given would glorify thee, would edify your church, and be sanctified by your spirit. It is in the name of our Christ that we do pray. Amen. 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 I, I, I want to talk uh, with you from Psalm number 37, and uh, I just want to uh, 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 speak a word of encouragement, uh, a, a word of encouragement uh, 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 from the wisdom of an older saint. In this text, Psalm number 37 is a Psalm of David. You realize that David is the son of Jesse. The Bible declares that he was God's chosen king, mm -hmm. not the king of the people, but the choice of God. Saul was the first king of, of, of Israel, but he was the choice of the people. But the Bible declared that God sent the man of God on an errand to bring forth uh, uh, the king that he so desired. And the Bible declares that uh, 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 as the prophet was at the house uh, uh, of, of Jesse, he called in all of the sons and the oil did not run. But upon David, the oil did run. And so therefore, uh, uh, God's word was fulfilled. This is the same David uh, 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 that 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 slew the giant. This is the same David that the songwriter said he uh, saw his thousands and David his ten thousands. This is a man that had seen great things uh, as he walked with the Lord. But at this portion of his life, 
verse number 25 says uh, uh, in the text, uh, he says, for I have been young and now am old, uh, yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. This is the 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 the, the psalmist that had walked with the Lord. This is a, the wisdom of, a, of an old man who had walked with the Lord. He had battled with evil men and he knew the frustrations that some of us are going through these days and times of seeing uh, 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 evil men. And, and, and he knew the frustration of seeing the, the wicked prosper and uh, the righteous suffer. Uh, uh, as he reviewed his past, he decided to pass on some wisdom and counsel uh, unto the young people. And, and that's what we need to do now. God is calling home the aged in our community. Uh, through this pandemic, many of our seniors have passed away. And also the wisdom with them uh, it is also vanishing. Yeah. But those, those who are still left around, we need to uh, impart wisdom unto the people of God. See, worldly wisdom will not serve the children of the kingdom. Only godly wisdom will see us through. The Bible declares that David decided he wanted to share some wisdom unto those uh, who were coming behind him. In this year, uh, 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 many of us have lost loved ones and many of our senior pastors have gone home to be with the Lord. Uh, uh, to, uh, uh, to name some, Elder Jasper Hatcher, uh, 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 that was 90-something years old, we we, we've lost him. We've lost so many of our others, but God has uh, allowed many to stay here. I need you to understand that once you get beyond 50, you, you, uh, uh, you start uh, realizing that there's more behind you than there is in front of you. All right. And so therefore, uh, uh, you see the young people stumbling and struggling, and you wonder, uh, uh, should we not talk about them, but we really need to talk to them. Yes. As we talk to them and give them encouragement uh, in these days and time, they're losing jobs, they're losing families, they're losing so much, yet they're being encouraged to live for the Lord. Uh, the Bible gives us instruction uh, uh, in this text. Uh, as David reviewed his past and he gave some wise counsel to keep us from fretting against the Lord when things are not going our way and not going the way that we want them to go, we need some nuggets in life that will keep us in our trials and tribulations. Number one in verse three, he says, trust in the Lord. Uh, the Bible says, he says, trust in the Lord and do good. Uh, and so shalt thou dwell in the land and verily thou shalt be fed. Saints, if you walk by sight uh, uh, and not by faith, you'll find it easy to fret in the Lord. You'll find it easy to get dissuaded and despondent by the things that you see. But the Bible declares that we walk by what? Faith right. and not right. by right. sight. Am I right about it? If, yeah. if we were to uh, uh, look at the things that are before us, we would be as the psalmist was. I believe that he picked it up in Psalm 73 uh, when the psalmist said, truly, God is good to Israel. All right. All right. Even to such as are of a clean heart. He said, but as for me, uh -huh. he said, my feet were almost gone. My steps had well nigh slipped, for I was envious at the foolish. Mm -hmm. When I saw the prosperity of the wicked, for there were no bands in their death, but their strength is firm. He said, they are not in trouble as other men are, neither are they plagued like other men. Therefore, pride compasses about before them as a chain, and violence cover them as a garment. Their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than their heart could wish. They're corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak lustfully. 
Uh, they set their mouth against the heavens and their tongue walking through the earth. Therefore, his people return hither and the waters uh, of a full cup are wrung out to them. They say, how does God know? Is there any knowledge in the most high? Uh, the Bible declared uh, that the psalmist did not understand those things. Uh, but this is what he said. Uh, he said, if I say I'm going to speak thus, behold, uh, I should offend against the generation of thy children. He said, when I thought to know this, it was too painful for me. When I look at all the mess that is going on and how the wicked seem to go and they have no shame in their game. He said it was too much for me. He said, but until I went into the sanctuary uh, of God, until I went into the sanctuary of God, then I understood their end. All saints, it's, it's something about coming to the house of God. It's something about coming to the house of God to get our bearings straight again. We see so much going on during the week. We see so many trials and tribulations. We see so much evil going on. It's personified in every show, in every uh, commercial, in everything that is going on. All of the evil is set forth before us. All right. yes, David said, yes, my feet had well not slipped. Uh, I, 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 I see the righteous trying to live right and the evil seem to be prospering at every turn. Right. I go out to work a daily job. I work my fingers to the bone and, and all I'm able to eke out is my daily living and somebody who's living up the street don't get up till noon, walk all night long, come home with a, with, with a roll of money that could choke a hog. And yet they seem to be grinning with a mouth full of gold. <laughs> and here I am eating beans and cornbread, turnip greens and neck bones. I'm, I'm sorry, that's so good. But let me, uh, 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 they're eating steak and going to Ruth crisp. And here I am diminished to this. David said, take heart. Trust in the Lord. He said, because you need to understand, as I go back to Psalm number 37, picking it up in verses 35 and 36, he said, I have seen the wicked in great power and spreading himself like a green bay tree. Yet he passes the way, and lo, he was not. I sought him, but he could not be found. All right. Otherwise, he says that uh, their prospering will not last. It will come to an end. But if you trust in God, God said, I'll see you not part of the way. I'll see you not some of the way, but I'll see you all of the way. So therefore, we need to believe what God says, what God says in his word. And I need you to know that God's word is reality. The things that you see are only there for a little while. But it is God's word that will stand and will not fail. But not only must we trust in God, the Bible also declares that we must delight in the Lord. The second nugget is found in verse 4. He said, delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Right. Is that not what this verse says? Otherwise, we need to find our joy and our pleasure in his will. We need to make his will uh, 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 the delight of our lives. And God says, if you delight in me, uh -huh. Uh -huh. then I'll delight in you. Yeah. Yeah. I will give you the, the, the desires of your heart. Otherwise, my grandmother said, if you put God first, uh -huh. God will make everything else all right. She said, but you got to serve him. You got to give him the balance of your days. You got to recognize him as Lord when it's not convenient. That's right. Oh, I need you to understand that if you make your delight in him and your desires will be to his will, we will find ourselves living to please the Lord and not living to please man. Yeah, 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 because when you live to please man, you find yourself sometimes despondent because you are high when they are high. But when they are low, you are low. Uh, 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 sometime I found people trying to serve man uh, uh, and, and, 
and serve their, uh, 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 the people that they call themselves in love with. And so therefore, she's serving Bobo and Bobo's serving Susie Q. But when Bobo leaves, your joy leaves. When Susie Q is gone, uh, 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 can't you hear the songwriter saying the thrill is gone? But I need you to understand that life is more than thrills in the flesh. Life needs to be about delighting ourselves in the Lord because we know that God will not fail us. God will not leave us. God will always be by our side. And so therefore, when we live to please the Lord, God will set you free from the thoughts of pleasing other men. When other men are trying to bring you down, God says you ought to delight yourself in me. But lest I, I, I get too happy Verse 5 says that we ought to commit our way unto the Lord. You see, when you trust God, when you delight in him, how could you do anything other than commit your way unto him? He says, God, oh God, will you, will you guide me? He said, commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. Otherwise, you going to let God guide your steps. You're going to let God choose your joys. And you're going to let God protect your name. And you're going to let God bless your work. When you let God choose your steps, you don't have to sing the song All of my steps in the Lord. Verse 23 says, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. And he, and he delighted in his way when you commit to yourself unto him, God will bring you joy. God will protect your name and God will bless your work. But not only that, verse 7 says, we ought to rest in the Lord. We ought to rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospers in a way. Because of uh, 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 of the man uh, uh, who bringeth wicked vices to pass. Uh, he says, seek from anger uh, because God will uh, uh, be your peace. Uh, otherwise, we need to rest in the Lord. Uh, when we rest in him, uh, uh, that is uh, that when uh, uh, we are restless, uh, uh, when we can't sleep, uh, we cannot find peace. Uh, uh, the Bible declares uh, that it is a deficiency in faith. Uh, when it is a deficiency in faith. God says we cannot please God because we have no faith. But if we rest in the Lord, Philippians 4 and 7 says, and the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds. When you rest in him, there's always peace. Let me tell you something. When you rest in the Lord, God will allow you to sleep at night. When you rest in the Lord, God will allow, Lord have mercy, evilness to be all around you. But when you rest in him, you can let the evil run because they will run out. But God's peace will last with us always. And not only that, he says rest, but it also says wait. We ought to wait on him. We got to wait on God. Because trouble uh, won't last always. Trouble uh, will not be in, uh, in our life always. Uh, Sometimes uh, trouble comes uh, to help us to find peace. Uh, trouble comes uh, to help us to find joy. Uh, even in the midst of our sorrow, uh, the Bible declares uh, that sometimes uh, God answers our prayers uh, in waiting uh, that we might develop patience uh, in our walk. Uh, James says uh, in James 1 uh, verses 2 through 8, uh, but let patience have uh, a perfect
perfect work. Uh, when you let patience have uh, a perfect work, uh, the Bible declares uh, that you shall uh, be perfect, uh, entire, uh, and wanting nothing. Uh, otherwise, uh, if you wait on him, uh, God will uh, supply you every need. Uh, that last nugget says, uh, if we wait on him, uh, God will uh, come to our rescue. Uh, God said, uh, I'll be everything you need uh, because the wicked uh, will not last always. Uh, but God, uh, he is a righteous God. Uh, he will uh, keep his word. Uh, David uh, was not the only one uh, that said waiting uh, is good. Uh, I heard Job uh, when he went through his trial. Uh, Job said, uh, though uh, he slay me, uh, yet will I, I trust in him. I, hey, Lord, I, at the end, I, he said, I'm going to wait I, until my change come. I, when my change I, shall come, I, God I, will give me I, everything I, that I need. I, God will I, restore unto me. I, oh, Lord, I, I need I, to go to my seat. I, but I want you to understand uh, in these uh, despondent times, uh, it's all right uh, to wait. Uh, Isaiah, uh, that silver tongue prophet, uh, he waited. Uh, he said, uh, There shall uh, be one uh, that is born uh, in Bethlehem. Uh, Lord, have mercy. Uh, that is the, the Messiah uh, shall come uh, unto earth. Uh, a son is given Lord have mercy he waited but it was on the wheel of time that God came in his own time the Bible says the Lord was wrapped in swaddling clothes laid in a manger old man Simeon was waiting for him God told him thou shalt not die until uh, you hold uh, the salvation uh, of Israel. Uh, he waited uh, and about that time uh, that Jesus, uh, that matchless son of God, uh, was born of a virgin uh, in Bethlehem of Judea uh, at eight days old. Uh, they brought him uh, into the temple. Uh, they laid him uh, in Simeon's arms. Uh, he said, uh, I can die now cause I beheld the salvation in my arm Jesus that master's lamb of God grew and he waited but one Thursday night waiting was all over they got Jesus and they laid him up Golgotha's hill they laid him down on an old rugged cross. Uh, they stretched him wide. Uh, they hung him high. Uh, and he died. Uh, he died. Uh, he died. Uh, but he didn't stay dead. Uh, they took him down. Uh, they buried him uh, in a bar tomb. Uh, oh Lord. Uh, on the third day morning uh, he got up uh, with all power uh, in his hand. Uh, and by that power uh, we have uh, our joy, but of that power, we have uh, our salvation. Uh, oh, Lord. Uh, oh, Lord. Uh, 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 I got a cold now, but uh, I feel uh, my hip. Uh, The Lord got up. He got up with all power in his hands. And so therefore we have power to live. We have power to endure. As long as we keep our eyes on him. Listen to the wisdom of the age. They've learned how to do with. They've learned how to do without. All because of God's grace. And his mercy. 
The Lord God keep you. The Lord God's face forever shine on you. Because he's given us victory in him. David waited. And the promise was given. Now the promise has come. But he has encouraged us to wait on him. Paul says if you wait on him. He will come. Death was all around. Trouble was in the camp. But I heard Paul say, I don't want you to be ignorant concerning those who sleep in the law. For they shall not prevent the, uh, those, Lord, that sleep in him, shall not prevent us from being with the Lord. He says, for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with the voice of the archangel and the trump of God, said, and the dead in Christ shall rise. Said they shall rise first. But then he included us. He said, we which are alive shall what? Be caught up together to meet them in the middle of the air. I don't know about you, but I can't wait. Yeah, I got my ticket stamped. I'm all ready. I don't know about you, but I'm waiting for it. But there are some of us. There are some of those who we know that don't know him. They need to find him in the pardon of their many sins. They need to acknowledge him as Christ and Lord of their lives. I beckon unto you that you would accept the Lord Jesus as your Lord and your Savior today. He is truly worthy to be praised. He gave his life on Calvary that you might have the right unto the tree of life. The Bible declares that you ought to give your life unto him. As, as, as we pray, we pray that God will touch and anoint those. For the Bible also declares that they cannot come unless God draws. We pray that God's drawing power will include our loved ones, our friends, and yes, even our enemies. They need God because I would hate to wake up in hell to figure out I was wrong about all the things that have been said. But we need to, as the old folks said, we need to accept him while the blood is yet running warm in our veins. As the Bible declares, we have so said it. Amen. 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 I bless the preacher. Amen. One more blow. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Lester. Amen. Reminding us that we'll just wait. Amen. Rest, trust, and delight. Amen. God's got something better for us than what we have right here. Amen. God bless you. And we pray that God will keep blessing Reverend Lester here, keep growing, and keep preaching God's word. Amen. God Amen. bless you. Amen. Thank you again, preacher. Let me say it again, uh, many of you are wearing pink today. Uh, in acknowledgement of Breast Cancer Month, we're praying that God will bless and come forth with a cure one day that we'll never have to wear pink again. That cancer will be something of the past. Amen. So God bless each one of you all that has done this month. To recognize Cancer Awareness Month. Amen. Do what you're supposed to do, ladies. Amen. Men as well. Let's do what we can to stamp out this terrible thing called cancer. We love you, the Lord. We appreciate you. All right. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Leslie. Uh, maybe if someone here has not received Christ as their Savior, Reverend Leslie said he bid you now. Don't wait too long. Amen. Don't let the, the idea of being in the parking lot keep you from coming. If you're not sure you're saved today, we invite you to come to Jesus. Make sure that you're saved. Don't roll off these grounds and not be sure that if death would come your way, you would not have a home. Amen. Jesus says, whosoever will, let him come. How we love you today. Amen. We appreciate you. Thank you. But God will bless you. I have our final word about Pastor Les will ask him to dismiss us as he comes uh, again. Greet him again with your horn. And we just certainly appreciate him for being here with us today. We love you in the Lord. Now, God bless you. Pray God will bless you this week.
We give all glory, honor, and praise to our God. We thank God for Pastor Burwell for allowing us to come. We pray that God's strength for him, uh, for he is my, uh, my beloved brother. We love you in the Lord, and we thank God for you and the great Mount Zion Church. Uh, as we leave today, I do want to uh, make mention that uh, my wife has come with me, and should the Lord bless us to live on tomorrow, we will have been married 29 years. Yeah, I tell you, she knows about grace and mercy. Amen. I, 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 I do need you to know she knows that. And so we, we give God glory, honor, and praise. It's so good to see so many of you. We realize it's under different circumstances. But the love of God permeates all of these things that are out here that will keep us apart. But his love still permeates everything that we do. We ask that you would bow with us for the benediction. Gracious God, we come now in the precious name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for your word. We thank you for the presence of your Holy Spirit. Now, God, as we leave this place today, as we leave these holy grounds, we, we don't know what tomorrow shall befall us, oh God. We don't know what things will come our way during this week. But, Lord, we do know that we need more grace. Grace to make it from one day unto the next. Now may the grace of God, the sweet communion of his Holy Spirit, rest, rule, and abide henceforth now and forevermore. And all God's people said, Amen and honk for the Lord. you so much for being a part of our parking lot worship service. We pray that you are blessed by the word of God and that your week will be better just by being with us today. We invite you to become a part of our Wednesday night Bible study via Zoom. Get a midweek checkup through studying of the word of God. We'd like to wish our following members a happy birthday. Sister Gloria Turner will be celebrating on October the 26th, along with Sister Brenda Taylor and Sister Kelsey Bowlby. We pray each of you have a wonderful birthday. We'd like to thank you all for being a blessing to your church, to your tithes and offerings. We'd like to remind you that there are multiple ways to give. You may do so via Giblify, via our website, www.mtzpbc.org. You may contact one of our officers and they'll make arrangements for you. Or you may mail your offering to 2350 Wall Triana Highway, Huntsville, Alabama, 35824. Again, we thank you for being a part of our worship service this morning. And we pray you have a wonderful and blessed week. We love you and we look forward to seeing you next Sunday. Be blessed.